everybody, it's Damo here from the Charter Collection Fishing Charters and the Charter Vessel Diversity. Uh, it is a, another slightly windy day here for the Haraki Gulf. And um, just looking around uh, the Gulf Harbour Boat Ram car park back here behind me, you can see it's pretty much desolate other than one brave soul. The uh, conditions today are southwest 20 knots. Uh, diversity has had the last three days off. Uh, due to high winds, Saturday was an absolute shocker with about 50 knots of uh, uh, north and westerly breeze. Sunday was not a lot better and Monday, even though it was a scheduled maintenance day for us, was also uh, pretty bloody shabby. So it's dropped down a little bit today and we've got some of the guys from the Fishing.net website out there today. Uh, Chris has taken them and I believe he's going to start in about 40 metres uh, east of Tiri there. There's been a few bird workups along that 40 metre line sort of north uh, east of the noises, north of the noises and also um, uh, in between Tiri and Carwell along that line. So not a lot has changed um, only because, um, well the news hasn't changed that much, only because uh, we haven't been able to get to it. So that's the general plan. Uh, it's interesting to see there's a few more pictures uh, showing up around the place, especially on the interwebs. People catching fish on the Trigger X baits and uh, I was lucky enough myself to uh, grab a couple of these packets and, uh, and snaffle a couple of snapper on them myself and believe it or not I got them in the nuclear chicken colour one, I don't think they call it nuclear chicken but it is the green and pink coloured bait, uh, the small four inch minnow is the one that I used and uh, that was pretty good. I didn't have to add any scent or anything to it, there's some scent that comes in the packet, in fact it's a pheromone that comes in the packet. So that was good, that was a first for me. Uh, other things um, that have been happening and uh, what you might find around the place at the moment is uh, there's a lot of pilchards in the Whangapraa Bay area. Now uh, pilchards uh, love it in there, they've got uh, quite a lot of bait fish uh, showing up, guys that catch them on sabiki rigs, uh, also catching them, uh, this guy over here thinks I'm crazy, this guy here thinks I'm crazy, I probably am a bit crazy, but uh, they're also catching them on sabiki rigs, they're also catching them uh, in amongst the mackerel schools too, so uh, the kawai that we caught last week uh, were all spitting up uh, whole pilchards and in fact some of the, uh, we were cleaning out the live bait tank after about three or four trips because it runs for that long. Uh, there was a lot of pilchards in the bottom too, so uh, they got chucked straight in the freezer and in the ice and uh, they'll be used for baits at some stage. Uh, it's quite kind of cool to uh, catch pilchards on a sabiki rig. Um, I've done a little bit of it before, catch them in quite a large net in about one ton lots, but uh, <laughs> it's a little bit different catch them on sabiki. And they come up uh, as a real nice bait, so uh, if you are about and you do notice on your sound or do notice a lot of gannets working and stuff like that and you are after a bit of bait, chuck down a sabiki and get yourself some fresh New Zealand pilchards. They would be one of the best, if not the best, bait you can get for catching New Zealand snapper. So, just to recap, uh, areas that are hot at the moment, Wangapraa Bay, uh, the Tiri Carwell line, uh, north of the Noises, stay away from the Telecom Cable area, stay away from the Telecom Marine Reserve, and um, make sure you uh, have a good look around, spend a bit of time in the area. If you don't see any birds or anything, it doesn't mean that the fish aren't there, so have a good look around, spend some time to set up some long drifts, and also... Um, you know, use a variety of methods, so take your Trigger X, take your Gulp Nemesis, take your, your Jitterbugs, especially in Candy Apple Green and in Pink, and uh, and take your bait. <clears throat> now make sure you take your sabikis, get yourself some fresh pillies, get yourself some fresh mackerel, and you might find that those uh, are going to change your day. Um, you will also... Uh, Notice that uh, as summer comes along, there's a few people running some sales and bits and pieces, so now's a good time to update your tackle. And when I update tackle, I go to a Top Catch store to do that. And you can catch them at topcatch.co.nz. You can catch us on Facebook, Diversity Fishing. Every couple of weeks or so, we have a giveaway um, prize going on there. Sasha McFarlane is this week's winner, and she's being sent out a couple of bottles of Pure Air Tackle It. Pure Air Tacklet is a, um, it's been around for a wee while, and uh, it's a very good product for removing the odour, um, the smells if you like, from stinky bait fishing and from soft bait fishing from your hands. It's also a sanitizer and it's also a very excellent multi-purpose cleaner for sanitizing and cleaning your vessel. Anyway, you'll uh, 
you'll uh, be able to enter the draw for some of that sort of product on our Facebook page. Catch us at chartercollection.co.nz to uh, hook us up and keep an eye out just quietly between you, me and anybody else that's listening. No, it's just you and me. <coughs> oh, maybe this guy over here getting out of his car, he might hear me. Keep your eye out uh, on the voucher websites because coming up very soon on Grab One, we are having a very good rate for some evening fishing trip. Now, these evening trips start at about 5 p.m. and uh, finish at about past 9, 10 o'clock, so you want to get into those. So keep an eye out on the uh, Grab One site for that sort of thing. Uh, that'll be coming up in the next day or so, I believe. So get in quick, <clears throat> snap for yourself a cheap evening trip. This is Damo and another Top Catch fishing uh, report <clears throat> coming to you from uh, what is going to be fairly shortly southwest 20 knots and um, probably quite chilly out there. So I hope those boys.